Hey everyone, in this video, I'm checking out another place here in Markham that's been recommended by one of my viewers. They make a dish that got super famous in Hawaii, but now it's enjoyed by everyone. Hope you're excited, because it's time to get food. one in the car today because well you know it's a little cloudy and actually it's a lot more chill here than I thought it was going to be when I headed out this morning so that's cool another COVID car picnic but we've got two awesome poke bowls here to cheer us up so I've got here the lava blaze which is a combination of salmon and a bunch of other toppings that I'll let you know more about and we've also got the little island which is their vegetarian tofu based poke bowl First, I'm going to start with the Lava Blaze. Let's get our spicy on. So poke started out in Hawaii, and the traditional poke is basically some marinated raw seafood on a bed of rice. But the great thing about the North American style is that you get all these amazing toppings that go with it. Take a look at just how colorful that forkful is. So I think I got everything on this bite. I got my greens and I got the little edamame there. Of course, you can't go without that poke. Mmm. Woo. Already on the first bite, I can feel the heat from those spicy sauces. So this Lava Blaze Poke Bowl uses salmon as its main protein. And for the base, you have a few different options. Your standard one is, of course, a sushi rice. But if you don't want that many carbs, you can opt for mixed greens. And then they go half and half with mixed greens and the rice. One of the other things that I really love about this is those crispy dried shallots. There's also some imitation crab salad there. Mmm, that's nice. Adds a little more creaminess to it. Look at that, there's just so much going on. You got some fish roe there as well. You can definitely mix it around or just keep dipping your fork into different sections of the poke bowl. So each bite is its own little adventure. Mmm, whoo, oh. My mouth is on fire, but in a totally good way. But I think I'm gonna chill things out a little bit with this tofu vegetarian poke bowl. Well, it's not raw fish, so I don't know if you can call it traditionally a poke bowl, but I think one of the great things about the poke box and a lot of poke joints here in North America is just the level of variety and customization. So for you veggie lovers out there, it's nice to have a few options like this tofu bowl. So you can see the tofu is cut into little bite-sized cubes and it's nice and crispy and also glazed with this beautiful ginger honey sauce. Mmm, it's nice and sweet and it's got a little bit of nuttiness coming from that sesame. Now let's get a bite with that sushi rice. And I'm gonna get some of this seaweed with that bite as well. And one of these red peppers. Mm. Nice and refreshing with that seaweed salad and those red peppers. And the sushi rice that you see there, it's lightly seasoned, nice and fluffy. Mm. Now on this side over here, you can see that it's got some shiitake mushrooms. I love mushrooms. So I'm gonna get some of those mushrooms, a little bit of tofu. Let's dig a little deeper and get some of that sushi rice. So 
both the Little Island and the Lava Blaze are part of Pokebox's signature Poke menu. But you do have the option to customize your own bowl. I'll include all the links below for the website so that you can check them out and you can see all the different signature items. They've got lots of different choices there, but you can also check out their build your own bowl section as well. There you can pick and choose your bases and your proteins, as well as all the different toppings and sauces that they have. And they have a huge variety there. So you can build a flavor profile all your own. So thank you very much to the folks over at the Poke Box. I thoroughly enjoyed those two signature bowls. If this has got your craving for Poke going through the roof, then definitely come on down and check them out. They've got one location here in Markham, as well as I think a couple in Toronto, as well as one in Waterloo. As always, thank you to you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time when I get food.